Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to demonstrate the solution that we just talked about that we found through using the simulator as an experimental tool. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click reset in the solve mode to get, it, to get the problem back to the start. And as you've seen us do several times in these videos, you're going to have to route American Airlines to go tr direct from Mina to Modesto bypassing Coaldale. And you need to slow United 74 down to 540 knots. So you do all that before we start running. Then you run the simulator. You can pause it at three minutes, change the speed to 600 knots back up to match Delta Airlines, and then run the problem to the end. And you'll see that um, you get exactly the ideal spacing and you get exactly uh, the time that we want. Now we'll demonstrate how to achieve ideal spacing over Modesto and meet the target time, maintaining at least minimum separation en route. Click the American 12 call sign and reroute American to take the shortcut directly from Mina to Modesto. This new route is three nautical miles shorter than the original route. Since the planes are traveling at the same speeds, American will arrive three nautical miles, the ideal spacing, ahead of the others. Next, click the United 74 speed and slow United to 540 knots so it will arrive last at Modesto. Click play to run the simulator. Fast forward the problem. We drag the data tags to make it easier to see the planes. If we do the math minute by minute, we will determine to speed up United at exactly three minutes. At three minutes, pause the problem. Notice, Delta 88 is five nautical miles from Modesto, and United 74 is eight nautical miles from Modesto. The difference is three nautical miles, our ideal spacing. To maintain the spacing, speed up United to match the Delta speed, 600 knots. Now run the simulator. Notice, the time matches the target time. The spacing between planes is three nautical miles, our ideal spacing. We have achieved the spacing and time goals. So that's how you solve an air traffic control problem. But that was using the simulator as a crutch, and controllers, again, don't have that capability. So students have to learn how to predict from the starting conditions what's going to happen, and they have to figure out how to, what changes to make to speeds and routes in order to get the exact solution.